Hi. Nice to see you. It's nice to see the two of you. I was wondering if you'd even recognize us with no shield and mask on. <laughs> <laughs> We've seen your face before. <laughs> At least half of it, right? Of course, because I, right. Exactly, right? You never, got, you never got to see my smile That's or right. my mouth or anything. I took care, so yeah, I took care of your wife um, ah. when she was on Meyer 9. Ah, okay. You are my lifeline. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Dr. Garibaldi. Hey, how are you guys doing? You you probably don't remember me very well. I do well. not. <laughs> no. I remember your name, that's all. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good to see you out, out and about. That's wonderful. Hi, Ms. Stevens, how are you? Hi, I'm good. You, Thank you, you very much. I hope you remember me. I do remember you. Thank you. You told me a lot about what Jerry, how Jerry was doing, so that was part of my recovery. Oh, that's so good to hear. It was, so, it was such a... It was a privilege to be able to take care of both of you at the same time. That's not something we, we normally encounter. You are both examples of you know, how different people respond differently to that disease. Um, at two ends of a spectrum, I would imagine. <laughs> yeah, no, you, you really were. I, I was asleep for two thirds of my stay. So I, I only saw people uh, in, in the last one third, but there were a lot of people that cycled through. Within just the biocontainment unit, the first place that Mr. Stevens was, there, there probably were 20 people alone from that unit who took care of you over the first four or five days um and then if you had in the icu and then and then the the non-icu floors probably probably over 100 i would say yeah um yeah. well <laughs> early on everyone was pretty scared here at hopkins because uh, just the uncertainty of the of the disease and sort of how everything was going and and it was such a good news and such a shot, like a good shot in the arm to sort of when we were able to get you to come off the ventilator, it's really uplifted so many people's spirits. I went on a four mile hike yesterday, so I, I'm, I'm most of the way back. That's amazing. <laughs> that's, amazing. that's really cool. That's amazing. That's, that's fantastic. The home health care program was wonderful. I mean, Great. I was very nervous about Jerry coming home. I was worried about all kinds of different things and if I could help him. And with you guys coming, you know, coming there, it was it was a really big help. Looks like um, we had about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen visits over that time. Once he hit the ground, he hit the hit the ground running at home from a speech therapy and I think physical therapy perspective. Walker to cane to no assistive device very quickly. He went from level ambulation to stairs. Um, he went from standing exercises to um, stationary recumbent bike and elliptical on our last visit. And I only saw him for five visits. He just literally is the epitome of resiliency and recovery. So. <laughs> oh, shucks. <laughs> <laughs> We're thankful. <laughs> Seeing his resilience has helped me with my other co post COVID patients um, and just his recovery kind of did set the gold standard. It's been able to guide us, um, make it better for, you've been making it better for other patients is really what I have to say. Thank you so much, all of you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Pleasure.